It's Pokemon Go Fest Osaka day two, which means we only have the city experience this time. But that's perfectly fine, because as you can see at the train station, we have quite a few spawns. I've already checked a few of these things, but that's actually new there. And I really want to get a shiny Jupiter, so unfortunately that's not it. I only need one more to complete that set. But not only are you looking for this guy, we're looking for that Pikachu with the crown. I never got it when I was in the park or in the city yesterday. And obviously I want to get that exclamation point and D unknown. So with that being said, Justin, are you ready to go into the city and suffer? It's hot. It is. We've now made it into the city of Osaka. Osaka. And let me tell you, it's still very hot. So hot, in fact, that my eggs are boiling here. We got nine of them. These are the GoFest eggs. I did a few of these yesterday, but I didn't really put them in the video. But they do have interesting spawns in them, and I'd like you to see them. So let's see what happens. Number one is a Dedene. That is one of the possibilities. I wouldn't mind hatching a good shiny of that thing. Number two is going to be a Dupider or Jupiter or whatever you guys call it. And I still need one more of those. Number three is Sigilith. I would love to hatch a Hundo. I really want a Hundo of that. Number four is going to be Petalil. All right. So we're getting a good range in here, showing you everything that's in here. Also, Heracross is in here as well. Like, boom. Okay, not that. And I know there's one other thing in here that I'm not a huge fan of, but that's something I am a fan of. Oh, yeah, it's Galarian Daramok is in here, which is fine, I guess, but they've been in here for a while. But so far, the eggs are okay, you know? They're not amazing by any means, but they're still kind of fun. And I like hatching eggs, so might as well do it. Plus, I have the egg hatcher bonus. But as you can see, there were no shinies in that batch. Let's just check the IVs and see if we hatched anything hundo-wise. That Sigilith is pretty bad. Let's just keep going. Let's keep going. This Siglyph is a little bit better. This one's not so great. Let's just keep going. Yeah, that's everything. And those are the eggs from yesterday, so we can still get whole batches today, at least hopefully. I completely forgot in the Today View, we have this GoFest 2023 Go for Gold. I've already completed the first step, so let's claim the dust, the Pokeballs, and the Nat Nat Berries. And the final rewards are going to be three Raspberries. We're getting an Egg Incubator, and of course, we're getting 2023 XP, like usual. And now we have to follow a route, hatch two eggs, and explore one kilometer. Hopefully, we can do that route thing. They are around, but I'm sure as you can see from my videos in the past, it seems to crash every time I try, so hopefully they've patched that out. I've just now caught a Carbink, and I forgot to mention this last video, but every time you catch a Carbink, it gives you some Diancie Mega Energy, which is cool. But another cool thing about this one is this is a 625. I want to say 625 is really good, so it's not oh, the Hundo. Dang, 90, I was really hoping it would 93? be. The, yeah, it's a 93. It's good. It's definitely good, but I really thought it was the Hundo for a second. And near the end of the route, we got ourselves a shiny Snorlax. 1900 weather boosted. It looks really cool. And this is the first shiny of the day two of GoFest. I'm not complaining. Like, I already got this one, but I love shiny Snorlax. I want to get as many of these as possible. Hopefully get a good one. I'd be down with a good one, but also just so I can lucky trade them and such. So let's take a look at this bad boy. He is... Go. Wow, oh my god. A 13, 12, 15. That's already pretty sick. Here we have nine more seven kilometer eggs ready to go. This also helps out with that quest because we had to hatch two eggs. Number one is a Petalil. I would love to see a shiny Jupiter hatch. I really love that. Number two, Garamaka. There it is. Number three is going to be a Heracross. Across. The fourth egg is a Dedene. Egg number five is gonna be another Petalil. Number six, Sigilith, thank you. Lucky number seven is going to be another Heracross. Ocho, oh, there it is, just need to be purple. And here's the last egg, it is another Jupiter. Cool. Now let's claim these rewards. Now that we've hatched those eggs, we get ourselves a lucky egg, we get ourselves some revives, and we get some raspberries, which is nice. And for the final rewards, we get some super potions, we get another lucky egg, and we get some pineapple berries, neat. And it looks like this is just auto-completed, so that's kind of fun. We're gonna get ourselves some XP and some Stardust, which is great. And for our final rewards, we're gonna get a Sableye Mega Energy, we're gonna get Golden Raspberries, and we're going to get, I think, Polka Coins was on there. But that's it for the Going for Gold. And the Incense provides with the last Jupiter we needed to get our hands on. Very happy about it. Probably should have thrown a Golden Raspberry on it. Hopefully catch this thing. One, two, and three. Okay, didn't matter at all. A little worrying there, not gonna lie, but we did get the Jupiter. And let's see if this one's at least okay. It is about the same as the first one. That's perfectly fine. That set is now complete. All we need now is the Pikachu and the exclamation point in D unknowns. And the Incense brought in another one. Totally down with that. I mean, now we've definitely completed the set, even though we already had. But this is good for extras, you know, if I got friends that need them and such. So we'll see what happens, though. Maybe I, this one will be really good for PvP. So let's take a look at it, shall we? It's gonna be not really that much better. No, oh, well, I have no idea why these things loves me so much, but you know what? I'm not complaining. Shiny Jupiter number three. Actually, yeah, the day, but four in general. This is ridiculous. I'm not complaining, though. Again, this is great. Like, yesterday was Petalil Day, today's Jupiter Day. Hopefully tomorrow will be Unknown and Pikachu Day. Let's see how good this one is, though. It's about the same. Cool. This first hour was kind of slow, but the second hour is going off. Shiny Nose Pass. Obviously, we had that golden event, so this isn't something I desperately needed, but nonetheless, it's a great shiny. Plus, my buddy Justin over there, he needs one, too, so I we can just it. throw it at you. Unless it's good for PvP, then I'm afraid you can't have this one. 
Oh, that's fair. Yeah, fair enough. But we do have to catch the thing. Hopefully it doesn't keep breaking out. I mean, these things aren't that hard to catch, so let's see what happens here. One, two, uh, three. There we go. We got it. Oh, hey, guess what? What? It's hot! Yeah, it's kind of hot. It's very hot. I'm sure you guys can see I'm sweating. This guy is... Oh, Rotom's yeah, spawning. That's not bad. What? You can do Rotom's today. Oh, and apparently we can do Rotom photobombs. So that's nice. So let's do that right now. Boom. Yeah, we should be able to get five of these today. So in total, I'll be getting 15 of these. Now, there it is. It is gonna be... Eh, not that bad. One, 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 two. Hopefully we'll get a good one. All the ones from yesterday were terrible. Ask and ye shall receive. This is the second one, and it is a 15, 13, 14. Let's go. I would love to get a hundo because obviously for the hundo decks because these are very rare But nonetheless, that's a really good one and I almost completely forgot the mega Rayquaza is out right now And I want to get more of them with the location cards for my friends But I would also like to get a shiny one with the location card I feel like that would be just such a cool little trophy. So we'll see what happens Maybe just maybe we'll get our hands on a good one If not, it is what it is and the mega Rayquaza is officially down. Please be shiny. That'd be amazing The downside to megas though is you can't tell what the CP is going to be until you encounter it Let's go through the rewards real Real quick, hopefully we'll get an XL rare candy. We got a few of those. Yes, we did. Hell yeah. Now we get ourselves a black Rayquaza, and yeah, it's not shiny, and it's a 2140. Terrible. Just caught the Rayquaza with a silver pineapple berry, so I got 44 candies and 5 XLs. Doesn't have the card. It does not have the card. Dang it. I knew this was gonna happen. These things are in love with me. I think this is number six now, which is just absolutely ridiculous, but still really good to have a whole bunch of them so I can give them to friends if they actually don't end up getting it during this event, unless this one turns out to be good, even though Petalil and its evolution aren't supposed to be that good at all. But let's take a look at this thing. It is, well, 15 attack, that's nice, but then it's got four and then 11. We're heading to Osaka Castle now. It's gonna be a really nice time, but look what the incense decided to bring in. We got another shiny Lucario, but this one's small, 180. Not quite a level one. It would have been amazing if we could get a level one of this thing, but I'm very happy with a small level of it because it's just hard to come by. Can't usually get this period in the wild, and then when it comes down to it being shiny like that, that's just even more rare. But let's see it. How good is this guy? He is pretty bad. Oh my goodness, but it doesn't matter. Looks great. And as we leave the train station, I've got nine more of these eggs. So far, no luck from them yet, but it'd be nice if we get something. Number one, Petalo. I honestly think they have the same rate as everything in the wild, so we have a decent shot, but that doesn't mean we're gonna get anything. But maybe this is the one. Number three. Ooh, no. Out of everything, I wouldn't mind getting a hundo, obviously, of the Sigilith, or a really good shiny of, like, a Heracross or something. That'd be neat. I believe this is number five. At Daramaka. I will say out of everything, I don't want that one, but now that I've said it, I'm definitely gonna get it. Lucky number seven is a Dedenne. The eighth egg is another Dedenne, and this should be the last egg right here. It is ugh, Galarian, gross. And another shiny Satchel Dactyl. Totally down with it. And it's from the lore, it's weather boosted. I would love to get a really good one of these things, so here's hoping this one's pretty decently solid. Now let's see it. This one is a 987, and it is, that's all right, 1111 eight. All right, I'm gonna do some kind of crazy here. I have another of these shiny satchel dactyls here, but I'm actually gonna hold off because we are seven minutes away from the unknowns. There's a chance this could turn into something that I want, or it could possibly despawn. I'm willing to take the risk because I really want the D or I want the exclamation point. I really want that exclamation point. So we'll see what happens. And now it's 12, and unfortunately, it turned into a shiny unknown A. I was really hoping it would be an exclamation point or a D, but you know, at least we got a shiny unknown, which is pretty cool. We technically didn't get this one yet, so you know what? I'm just gonna catch it just to catch it, but man, I was really hoping it would have been something else. Is it at least a decent unknown? It is not really. So this is pretty cool. I incensed this guy just a little bit ago and check him out. He is a 0 12 9. Apparently that is a rank 90 for PvP in Great League and I'm thinking let's do it. I would love to have this as a shiny dex entry or not really a dex entry but you know getting it for the shiny dex itself but very happy and the best part about it is it does keep the same shiny colors. It doesn't change a lot. It actually looks really freaking good. So let's wait for it in 3, 2, 1. There it is. Isn't that just so good? Love the purple legs. Love the just giant orange eyes. It's a fantastic looking Pokemon. I love this thing. And you know what? I'm thinking let's do one of these Petalils as well. I just got this one just right a moment ago. And this one's not bad. It's a 10, 13, 10. And then we got this guy right over here, which is a 10, 13, 13. I'm thinking let's make this one into the evolution. I actually forgot the evolution's name for Petalil, but it looks nice. It's not bad at all. As a shiny, it's pretty solid. And in the future, this does have a Hisuian form, but again, I don't think we're going to be able to evolve into that anytime soon. I'm sure that's going to be like a raid day or something like that, but there we go. We got the shiny of it. <laughs> it looks pretty good. I like it. Lilligant, that's the name. But yeah, that's two shiny families completed. We still got one more that I want to complete by the end of the day, but so far today's been just an amazing day. We're now inside to get ourselves some food and just kind of get some air conditioning, and it seems like the 
air conditioning is getting into the lens again. Hopefully you're not seeing the splotch too much. But I am happy to say we got a shiny hair cross in here, so that's freaking awesome. And it's a female, so happy. Obviously, we get these in Florida, where I'm from, but I'm always happy to get a really rare shiny from somewhere else, because, like, it's gonna have the Osaka tag. I was gonna say Okinawa for some reason, but it's gonna have the Osaka tag on it, so that's pretty exciting. Fingers crossed it's a good one, too, because I love the shiny female ones. I like the hard horn. So, this one is not that great, but it doesn't matter. It's a shiny. But now that we got that, let's eat. Food was delicious, and now it's time to keep hunting unknowns because it's actually one o'clock right now. This Bergmite was a shiny. We just gotta wait for them to switch over. Sometimes it takes a little bit. Let's just click on some stuff. There we go. It has switched over. Oh no, it switched into a pumpkaboo. I mean, I'm okay with that, but that is not what we were hoping for. We were hoping for an unknown, but a shiny pumpkaboo is cool because this will be my second one for the complete living decks without a costume, obviously. So there we go. We have caught the pumpkaboo shiny, and it is okay. Not the greatest. Unfortunately, not an unknown, but we can still keep hunting. We've now made it to Osaka Castle, and check it out, we've got a Mega Rayquaza raid right here for us. And Mega Ray Ray has been brought down. Hopefully we can get a shiny right here. I've yet to get a shiny Rayquaza this entire trip. So let's see if we get ourselves an XL Rare Candy. So far, nothing, so that's great. Oh, well, hey, just got a shiny hair cross. Congratulations. Wahoo! But now let's see it right here, right now. Black Dragon up here. Nope, unfortunately not, and a 2145. I really want to get a shiny soon, man. And now we've caught him. Do we get the thingy? We do not. Really? We're right on the castle, and we couldn't get the thing? We we are again about three minutes away from unknown time, and I found a pumpkaboo this time, so hopefully this will turn into a shiny unknown. It'd be hilarious though if this turns into something else, but I'm really hoping for obviously that D or the exclamation point, you know, that's what we want, so I hope it happens. And now it's two, so let's just start clicking on things, but not the shiny specifically. As you can see, things are disappearing around us here. All right, I'm gonna get up and walk real quick, and it turned into an EK. No. Aw, why couldn't have you been this right here? This is what I wanted. With now come to a place called Nanba. It's a really interesting place filled to the brim with spawns. Like, I kind of wish I knew about this place yesterday. And we got ourselves a level one shiny kerosene, which is really cool. Oh, did you get one too? Nice, good stuff, good stuff. Hopefully it'll end up being a decent one, but it is level one, so I kind of doubt it. I would imagine it needs to be like 11 CP. But let's take a look at this thing. It is, yeah, pretty bad, but it doesn't matter. And as you can see, like this place is disgustingly good. We just went down some of these roads earlier. And I had to stop into a drugstore to help with one of my blisters, but like just this place is nuts. Hopefully we'll get those shiny unknowns in here, or maybe even the Pikachu. And we finally got a shiny Rayquaza. This took literally forever to find one of these things. I've done a lot of these raids, but the big hope is now that we got the shiny, that it comes with a location card. That would be really cool, but you know, knowing my luck, that might not happen that way. So, it did! Yes! Oh my god, I'm so happy about that. Let's just take a look at it, even though it's not the best, I'm sure. Yeah, 14, 13, 11, does not matter. We freaking got it. So happy. Unknown time's coming up very soon again, and yet again, I found another shiny. We got some Viper here. It's fine. You know, I already have multiples of these, so we'll see what this turns into. Hopefully this time an unknown, but I mean, we've had two times where it's been something else. It's now officially four, and these things should switch over in just a moment, so hopefully they'll do that. Let's just click on him. Yes, you're gonna disappear as well. Perfect. Should just take a couple of seconds, and we will see something new here. I've instanced to mime while we wait. It's not shiny. And it's a no. Yes! Unknown! exclamation point. Let's freaking go. We did it. We actually freaking did it. I am so happy right now. This is one of the rare shiny unknowns out there. We only need the D now and we need that Pikachu and we have literally everything, but we still need to catch it first. So click, right? There we go. We freaking got it. The rarest shiny in all of Pokemon Go for the most part right now. And there it freaking is. 707 and it's I got a 15 in defense. That's kind of cool. I cannot believe we just got this thing. Huge bucket list item right off the list. Only two to go. And another Snorlax. Absolutely loving this. The only thing that's really hard about this area is it is a madhouse. There are so many people here. I'm trying not to smack into people while I do this clip, but I have been pretty unsuccessful most of the times. Anyways, boom. Also, the sunlight over there, not great. Luckily, this area is nice and shaded. Let's get back into the shade. There we go. Perfect. Oh, and we actually caught the thing. Very happy with that. But is it a good one? 22228 is... Yeah. We've got another shiny 
here in another six minutes until we have the unknowns again. This is gonna be the last time though, because it's 5.54. This event ends at seven, but we only get one more of these at six. We'll see what this turns into or if it stays around. Now it's 6 p.m., so we'll see what happens. We're gonna click on some things, maybe make them disappear real quick. Hopefully we'll get something good. We want the D unknown. That's literally the only thing. Or if it wants to turn into a Pikachu, that would be phenomenal if it wanted to turn into a Pikachu. Any second now, it just would be great. Oh, it did transform already. And I think it's an N unknown. Yeah, that's an N unknown for sure. Oh well, is what it is. It's another shiny, which is great, but not quite what we were hoping for. And now day two is officially over, and we managed to get ourselves 32 shinies, which is pretty good. We got an Aerodactyl, two Laxes, four unknowns, including the exclamation point, which is a huge win. I'm very happy about this. Also, just very happy that that trick worked. Also, Justin got it too. Congratulations. We also got a Heracross, a Surskit, a Nosepass, Cacnea, Corfish, two Rayquazas. One of them actually has the background. The other one, sadly, does not. Lucario, three Petalils, two Pharaoh Seeds, Durant, Spritzy, Inke, Dedene, two Pumpkaboos, five Dupiters, or Dupiters, or however you call them. So yeah, we're doing great. All we need to do is get our hands on a shiny D unknown and a shiny Pikachu, and we have completed everything. But before we wrap up this video, I do want to evolve one of our Galarian Mr. Mimes into a Mr. Rhyme. This is a level one. I kind of want to keep that one as a mime, so let's turn this one into a Galarian Mr. Rhyme, and it's going to be good because now I can finally have this in the decks, not as a shadow, and we are closer to having a complete shiny decks without any shadows, but sadly, I did see a Tyrantrum recently at some point, so yeah, we're still not 100%, but at least we got this one off the docket, and it looks okay. Not exactly the best shiny, but it's a shiny for sure. Smash that subscribe button if you enjoyed today's video, and let me know in the comments down below. Do you think I'm gonna get that shiny D unknown or the Pika? Please let me know. And if you're really enjoying the content and you wanna see even more of it, I highly suggest this video right over here. But with that being said, I'll see you in the next one.